like, no, I don't want to hear about your problems. I'm shutting down. Uh, excuse me. I was telling the viewers, you, a very important story, okay? You can't decide what when you shut off. You shut off when you die. It's actually like a camera bag. I don't think anybody cares, but I'll show you anyway. And it's got this compartment with no camera in it, but, oh. It will have a camera in it one day. So it's got this cute little compartment for clothes. Well, I'm using it for clothes anyway. Let's go. We might actually be on time for once. now quarter past seven at night i've been there like seven hours not working out okay i wasn't working out i just got loads of work done you know sometimes you need to just sit in like a place like that my anxiety and stress was so high got my exercise done with great mental difficulty i kind of today i wanted to talk to you about what anxiety actually looks like because do i look like i have anxiety no as in, look at me on the outside, not what I look like, but how I behave. Lots of people are like, oh, you were anxious, or, oh, you were, like, stressed, were you? And I'm like, yes, I was. I was very, very stressed. I do not show it. You want to know why? That is because I'm a doctor. Maybe I have to say I was a doctor now. Maybe I'm not a doctor anymore. When do you become not a doctor? I don't know. Maybe you're just always a doctor. I feel like, well, firstly, I do think it's part of me, like how I am as a person. I don't really show my emotions like really well because I had a bit of a ropey upbringing, uh, which meant that showing emotions is kind of a bit dangerous. I had a, yeah, a bit of a ropey childhood, let's say. And it's just better to not show your emotions. So I ended up just using comedy or like jokes, probably still do now a bit as a kind of defense mechanism. And it took me a long time, like a really, really long time to open up. Okay, I had to go and change my battery because my GoPro was literally like, no, I don't want to hear about your problems. I'm shutting down. Uh, excuse me, I was telling the viewers, you, a very important story, okay? You can't decide what when you shut off. You shut off when you die. We're going for cauliflower. I'm just heating this up. Cauliflower, <coughs> courgette, don't ask. Sweet chili chicken. Uh, I'm gonna put some olives in there, I think. And again, don't ask. Sweet and sour pot noodle. Just gonna mix it all together. So yeah, that's where my issues with emotion come from. I'm definitely getting better. And I think some of that is coming from the fact that mental health and talking about it is like an actual thing now. It took me a lot of fucking years though. A lot of therapy, a lot of 
help. A lot of mentoring. I had like private, not private, like one to one uni mentoring once a week, which is really good. The uni funded it. Thank you. In fact, even at the height of my depression, I don't think anybody really knew. Um, they did it. Yeah, they did. To be fair, they were like, at some point, you know, they were like, Dawn looks a bit disinterested. So anyway, I've learned to discuss my emotions, but. I still haven't learned to like show them, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It can be quite useful, especially with patients. You kind of don't want them to know if you're like scared, anxious, nervous, stressed. Stressed, I feel like is a bit more obvious, but I do have tells, I think. And I think anybody has tells, like things that you do that you're like, that people can look at you if they know you well, or if they know how to read body language and go, they're stressed or anxious. I think a lot of people do, a lot of people do certain things that are like self-comforting mechanisms. So like they'll rub their arm or their legs. This is more of a lying one, like rubbing your face, doing that. I think for me, maybe I don't want to give them all away there's two I think for me I bite my lips a lot and I think to be honest I think that's more of a habit but also it gets worse when I'm anxious but one of my things is that I don't I look away and I do that when I kind of think as well so it's, it's not definitive sorry the point of my video is the only way to really tell if somebody is anxious or depressed or whatever is to ask them because people portray a very different persona on the outside might be even more so for doctors and lots of people have messaged me <laughs> since i've been releasing my videos recently being like are you okay i mean it's very nice i am okay it's fine i'm okay but i think it's because i'm just talking about my mental health and people are like not used to it yet i think the only issue is that sometimes you can ask people if they're okay and they don't they're not honest and not because they're mean people but because they don't want to be for whatever reason no, I don't know how to get around that yet. Sometimes I ask a couple of times. But if you don't know them that well, why would they tell you? I don't know. Any suggestions? Let me know. 